Welcome back. Here's the shape we revolved in the last video. We're ready to put some dimensions on it. Uh, so you can see I've already placed it on my drawing sheet. Uh, I only did two 2D drawings because I don't think we'd benefit from a third. It would look a lot like that right side drawing. Actually, it would look a lot like the, uh, the front view that I've chosen. Uh, and I've already gone and I automated some center lines. So I've got my crosshair pattern here, a horizontal center line here. Uh, just to let viewers know, this is indeed a cylindrical shaped object. So we need to dimension some uh, object lines to give us info about the overall length and about the diameter of these three different sections. I'm going to do the length first using the baseline tool. So I'm just going to come in and click all four of these vertical lines after I've selected my baseline tool. Then I'll right click, left click. Get my polka dots, left click, right click, left click create, and we've got our information about this object's length. Uh, now I'm going to dimension in this, this front view that I've chosen uh, the diameter of these three sections. So again, this is going to look like, ooh, not that mess of stuff. This is going to look like our example drawing on the PowerPoint. Uh, we want to see three separate dimensions with the diameter symbol in front of it. And so to do that, I'm going to use the dimension tool and I'm going to start with my largest diameter object. So I'm going to come up to this top horizontal line. Uh, then I'm going to come down and I'll click this bottom horizontal line and I'll drag my cursor out. Now, I need quite a bit of space to fit these three dimensions in here and not have them overlapping. So I'm going to drag this one out as far as possible. Uh, then I'm going to come back to this next one, click in the horizontal lines to turn it red. Uh, I'll bring this dimension out, uh, and then I'm going to do this final section here. Now, I do want to point something out. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this one. I need to pick the line. If I go from center point to center point, uh, and I drag this out, you'll notice I don't get that diameter symbol. So when you're choosing this, make sure you're picking the whole line uh, so you get your diameter symbol uh, to show up in there. And make sure you got your dimension tool selected so you can get a dimension. And so line to line, bring that out till we've got polka dots. We've seen it's overlapping, so I'm going to set it there. Let's uh, we'll go zoom out. Oh. Now we can zoom in. All right, and there you go. You can see it fits on here pretty nice. Some of you, when you get to this point, what you might end up doing is even dragging uh, this front view over a little bit. That might give you more room to put these dimensions in. Uh, you're going to have to, you know, apply that problem solving process to it, evaluate your final product. If there's issues, if there's errors with it, you may have to go back and fix them. Uh, but this is what we want it to look like when you're done.